name is Sarah and welcome to Sand and Sea Tarot. This is a general love reading intended for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This reading may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check out your other placements. Also, I'm offering personalized readings at this time, which are available through my website in the description box below. There will be an extended reading for this particular reading that is available only for channel members. The channel membership is $9.99 per month, which gives you access to all signs extended readings for each month. I will be releasing an extended reading every week, so that gives you at least four extended reading videos for your particular sign, but you'll have access to all signs. Also, for the first time that you're signing up for the membership, if you're on iPad or iPhone, for some reason you won't see the join button, so you'll have to go on a desktop to sign up. Let's get on with this reading. Hello Aquarius and welcome to your reading. We're going to start with two romance angel cards. I did shuffle all of these decks beforehand and cleared them, but I will just be doing a quick overhand shuffle um, to put my energy in specifically the questions I'm asking. Okay, so we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, and then the next one we have is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Now we're going to pull three cards for what your current energy is. Aquarius, let's see what your current energy is. One second, let me fix my microphone here. There we go. Show me Aquarius's energy in this situation. We have Seven of Swords. That jumped out. Four of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups in reverse. Aquarius, I feel like you felt um, in this current situation, you feel like you've been um, lied to that there's been some deception or that, um, so I don't know if it's necessarily that you feel that they've lied to you, but you feel like they're withholding something. They're not being completely honest about something. I feel like you believe that things are turning around for you in this connection. Um, this could be a past partner. It could be a current partner that you've been with where there was some kind of bump in the road. And I feel like you're, um, there's something that's like, things are improving. For one, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. That's the card that's at the bottom of the deck. So that tells me, like, in a reading with the card at the bottom of the deck, at least for me in my readings, has great importance because that means that's the underlying energy of something that you're unaware of or something that could be coming at you. I feel like you have decided to return back to something. So I believe that like you've decided to reconsider things with this person that's on your mind. I feel like maybe they have come, they have reconnected with you and you're willing to give them like a second chance. You currently feel quite hopeful about this connection. You do feel like this person does have better intentions this time around with they, where they're kind of like backing up their their words with their action. So you are feeling quite hopeful that this is going to go towards something more committed long-term. I'm definitely there with the Knight of Pentacles. That is the energy of someone that is moving forward towards stability and they're showing up as more reliable. The Knight of Pentacles is also very slow energy, but at least it's steady. Like this person is steadily taking steps of action towards you. You feel like they're being very purposeful with their actions and their words. Um, yeah, and I feel like you you decided to give this person a second chance. Um, the only sign that we have here, whoops, let's get this stuff out of the way. The uh, Knight of Pentacles could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. 
So now we're going to pull three cards for what your person's current energy is. Tell me about Aquarius's person. Give me some information about Aquarius's person, their current energy right now. Aquarius's person. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, Knight of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. So right off the bat, Aquarius, what I'm getting is that with the Nine of Pentacles, again, being the bottom deck card, um, your person does feel like they still want some independence. Um, at the same time, with the Two of Cups, they do desire partnership, romantic relationship, love. I feel with the Knight of Wands here that this person does desire still to have like a lot of passion, fresh ideas, creativity, just a lot of fun right now. Like, um, I don't really see anything indicating at this point quite at this moment about something long term, but they do desire a romantic relationship with you. So however that's going to play out, they do desire that. The Ten of Swords also suggests that this person could be dealing with past hurt still about this connection. Um, I don't feel like they're dwelling too much on it. I feel like they've gotten up, they've, you know, got up back on that horse again. They do have the willingness to try again. So they're not letting past fears or failures like set them back. Um, but I feel like a lot of this energy is that Knight of Wands energy where they just want to have fun again, happiness, joy, like be very free spirited, um, sort of non-committal, not to the point where like they're going to go off and run off with a third party. I feel because there is this underlying independence. They really want their independence. So Aquarius, this would not be the time to try to rein this person in and be like, um, you know, what are we? Are we boyfriend and girlfriend? Um, do you plan to marry me? Like that, that is not the time. Right now is not the time to be talking about these deep conversations with this person, especially because there's this fight for independence still. Um, and it's a lot of people are afraid. A lot of people are afraid to give up their independence. So this person is struggling with giving up their independence because they do want this love relationship with you. I do feel like there's a lot of love towards you. Definitely a lot of passion, especially here with the passion oracle card. There is a lot of passion in this connection. Um, but yeah, there is going to be some kind of delay on a commitment, I think, because your person is struggling with not wanting to give up their independence. Um, so the Knight of Wands, that is a Leo that could be here. So what do we have? We have a Virgo and a Leo that you could be dealing with, Aquarius. So now we're going to pull three cards for the current situation. So this is what's going on right now. This is your mutual energy, the current situation. Tell me about the current situation. Eight of Pentacles, High Priestess, the Wheel. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. I feel like the energy right now in this situation is that there is a lot of focus that's being put on um, listening to your intuition, listening to your higher self. I do feel like there's, there is still some like secretness, um, some mystery to this connection. I feel like feelings are not being fully revealed. Um, something is not being fully revealed. I don't think it's deception. I just think it's more of something kind of mysterious going on. Um, the wheel does indicate this is a faded connection. Anytime I see the wheel, that, that's what it means to me. So I, I do feel like this is a faded connection. It's meant to be, however you see it. I think that's why this there has been a coming back together. I do feel like this is the energy of someone that either was a past partner or was a current partner that perhaps you just took recently, like took a break and now you've come back together. Um, so it may not be like a really past, past person. It could be, you know, someone that was fairly, fairly current. And then we have the Queen of Cups, which is the card at the bottom of the deck. So that tells me that there is this energy of deep love 
there are some deep emotions of love in this connection, which would make sense to me why there is this feeling of like a second chance again, because this connection is faded and you can't just like walk away. I believe that maybe there was some, some of you, one of you, one of you tried to walk away. Maybe both of you tried to walk away, but you kind of found like it was impossible because there's something that pulls you back in together. So there is a lot of deep love here. Um, we can just clarify. Let's go ahead and clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit? We have the Nine of Swords. Uh, by the way, you could be dealing with a Cancer with the Queen of Cups. Um, the Wheel is Sagittarius and the High Priestess is also a Cancer. I feel like someone has been focusing on a lot of fear with this connection, probably a fear of a fear of trusting in this connection and starting again with that nine of swords. Nine of swords there is a Gemini. I feel like someone has been overthinking their, you know, in their head. Um, too much focus on like asking the how, like how is this going to happen? What if, you know, we go right back to square one? Um, what if this person breaks my heart again? There's like a lot of that kind of thinking that's been going on. Uh, let's clarify the high priestess. It has seven of pentacles. So I feel like there's a lot of planning. Um, someone is doing a lot of planning for this connection and it's not being spoken of there with the high priestess because again, the, pre the high priestess is all about like secrecy, not letting you know what they're thinking, feeling. Um, so I feel like someone is doing a lot of planning for this connection. Someone is really invested in this. Um, they're really, they're really thinking about the future. They want to invest in this connection. They want it to grow. Of course, Aquarius, I know you want to know if this is you or your person. So we're going to clarify right now and ask, let's get more clarity. Is, is the high priestess Aquarius's person? Major Arcana is yes. Is the high priestess Aquarius's person? We have 10 of swords, so that's a no. So this is you, Aquarius. I feel like you are the one who's doing a lot of planning. You are the one that is being kind of secretive, um, not revealing emotions to this person right now. Um, but you are very hopeful. You are planning to nurture this connection, um, give it a second chance. You want to, like you're investing, you're doing hard work, you're focused on this connection. Um, I now believe that that nine of swords energy could also be you. Like there could be some fear that you're having about what happens if you invest your heart and time into this connection and you, and your heart gets broken again. So I do believe that is you as well. Um, we can clarify too, just, just to see, but I do believe it's you. Tell me about the eight of pentacles spirit is the eight of pentacles Aquarius. Is it Aquarius? Major Arcana is yes. Is Eight of Pentacles Aquarius? No. We have the Five of Pentacles. So that is your person. Your person is the one that is focused on the fear and anxiety about about this connection. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that they still want that independence. There's that struggle for independence. So they have a lot of fear that like, if they don't commit to you, if they don't invest in this relationship and give it their all, that you could walk away from them, that th that'll end. So now we're going to ask, what is something that's hidden from you, Aquarius? What's something that's hidden from you about your person? Something you don't know about how your person is right now, what they're thinking or likewise. So what's something hidden? What is something that Aquarius doesn't know about their person? What is their person hiding? Person on Aquarius's mind, what are they hiding from Aquarius? We 
go the Empress. I feel like this person, um, they see, I don't know if there's ever been discussion about like, you know, future talk before, but I feel like this person feels you would be a good mother. If you don't have children yet, this person is thinking about having children with you and what kind of mom you would be. Um, they feel that you would be very nurturing, very loving. Um, if they have children already, they see you as like a, a good co-parent. You would be a good um, parent figure, a role model to their child. They, they trust you, you know, they would trust you with their children. They are also very attracted to you. They think you're very beautiful. Um, this is the divine feminine energy. So in a twin flame connection, this would represent the divine feminine. Um, they just see you as like radiant and glowing. They're very, very attracted to you. They, they think you're very beautiful. Um, ideal partner. They really see you as their ideal partner, their perfect partner. So now let's go ahead and ask how they see you, even though that card kind of was how they see you, but that's just something that's hidden. So I believe like that person hasn't discussed those things. Those, that person has never said to you, I could totally see you, you know, being the mother of my children or, you know, being a stepmom, stepfather to my children, something like that. So that's just the hidden energy there. Okay, so how do how does Aquarius' this person see Aquarius right now? How do they see Aquarius right now? So the hangman is all about stillness. So I think they feel like you're being very quiet. You're being very reserved. Um, they feel like you're just, you've kind of just, you're not in limbo, but you're just kind of waiting. You're, you've stepped back to wait to see what this person is going to do. They may see that you're a little bit more spiritual now. I'm not sure if this person even believes in the law of attraction, but um, this is the energy of someone that's letting go. So perhaps in the past, like you were just clinging to this person, you were um, like they felt your energy was like really right on top of them. And this time it's different. You've kind of pulled back your energy. You're not so heavily focused on them. Um, even though, you know, we had that card where we had the uh, seven of pentacles showing that you're investing in this relationship. I believe like you're investing in this relationship, but you're not like obsessive with this. Like that obsessive energy is not like on top of your person. So they, they do feel like you're just kind of being quiet and reserved right now. So in the extended reading, I am going to be pulling several cards that we're going to dive into about how they feel towards you, what it is that they want with you, and what are their likely intentions and actions over the next few weeks towards you. Thank you so much for watching this Aquarius. Please like this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.